Konnichiwa, everybody. Uh, today, I'd like to talk to you about Google event tracking and uh, user experience strategy with the event tracking. So Google Analytics gives us a few different things that we can track about the user in a few different ways. Uh, but Google Analytics makes it easy to track the user's actions also. So Google Analytics empowers us to track those actions that are uh, maybe not uh, actions that lead someone to a page view, but are important user behaviors that will impact and guide our user experience design. So we could see a few different things, and I just want to show you an example in my code here, uh, the way that Google defines these ways to track. We have the track event, uh, we have the category, which defines as uh, the name you supply for the group of the object that you want to track. Uh, we have actions, uh, actions a string that is uniquely paired with each category and commonly used to define the type of user action or interaction for the web object. Pretty simple, a opt label, which is uh, the label, and um, an optional string to provide additional dimension to the event data. And if we want, we could also put in the opt value, which is uh, optional also. Both of these are optional, by the way. But the opt value uh, is an integer that you can use to provide numerical data about the user's events. Uh, pretty simple. So the string is GA push track event. And for my events, I'm doing a uh, custom event called process flip. Uh, my event action is going to be called flip. And then I'm putting a label of plan, design, and build. And we'll get into these in a second and what these are too. So let's look at my website. So userfred.com, please visit it and comment. So what I'm talking about in here are these uh, three CTAs right here. So describing what I do, I got plan, design, and build, right? So these are my flip actions that happen. So process flip, flip, plan for plan, design, build. Uh, and then once they're over, I also have these process link, click, and it goes to plan. So when you click it and you click this link, it goes to the plan page to uh, plan or design or build and so forth. So let's go back to the home page. Let's take a look at how I implemented this code. So we'll go to the inspector, bring this guy up a little bit. You don't want to cover up that handsome face, but uh, what are you going to do? So let's click on the inspector and click in this guy. So looking at the code, we have on click, uh, Google push event track, and we're doing process flip. The action is going to be flip and I'm going to label this with a uh, name of plan flip okay so the action is flip plan flip is how I'm labeling this so if we look at the other ones we notice that we have uh, kind of the same thing going on right we have process flip so they're both in the uh, in the category process flip because all of these go to the processes and they all flip and this one is Flip is the action that the user's taking. Design, flip. So that's for design. So if we do the same thing here, we look at the build. We have process flip. It's going to flip and build flip. Pretty simple. So let's click on one, right? So if we click on design and we just did a flip. So in Google Analytics, we're going to see this uh, as a flip action. And we'll get to that in a little bit. So now after we did the process flip, Let's select this guy and inspect it. And we have a new uh, a push event. So we have a track event, process link. So after the user go, went ahead and um, flipped to this page, what I want to do now is track that flip. So uh, I tracked it, and now I want to see if the user actually clicked on that and matched the data. So uh, if they uh, clicked on here, the process link, and the action is click, because they're going to click it, and then they're going to go to the design home link. So this is really what I'm looking for. This is my conversion. So there's two actions taking place. Somebody's going to flip this, and they're going to click it, and the conversion is they went to the process page, and they went to the bill tab. So now I know if how many people are clicking or flipping, and then they go to this tab in the page. 
So that's a small conversion that I want to see happen. So let's go to uh, GA uh, Google Analytics. So I'm in the content, I'm in event tracking, and I'm looking at categories, right? So I have a few different categories, and the one that we were looking at was the uh, was the process flips, right? So here's the process flips, and we could see how many flips happened, and we're just looking at this week or uh, this uh, this day. So you know, not too many for this day, but. Uh, you know, if, uh, if you guys go to my blog some more, uh, we'll, we'll pick that up. So let's go to actions. And the actions we have here, here's flip. And I have a few different ones for a few different things, but we're just talking about flip. So let's click on flip. And we see um, on flip, we have build flip and design flip. So we know that those are uh, being uh, used a lot, maybe not so much plan. So people are interested in these two on, on, on these days. So we have uh, two in here, we have one over here, and we could see how that data equals out. We could also look in uh, Google Analytics and look at labels. And we could see, okay, people are clicking on these different things. And uh, we could see, okay, here's the build flip. And uh, well, again, we don't see the other ones, but they click on those and they actually go to the build or the design page. And we see how that works because these are the actual tabs on that page. So we could even track these guys to see how many times people are clicking these. So it's uh, it's pretty useful. You can see how you know we don't have to just track keywords or uh, top landing pages. We actually have a few different options that Google gives us. So again, we're looking at this and we're seeing on click. We have the category, process flip, which are the category for all these. Uh, flip is the action I'm taking. Plan flip. Once I flip. I could uh, inspect that and I could see that I have another button here that has tracking the event, uh, process link, click is the action, plan home link. And again, that will take us here and that's another conversion. Thank you Google for uh, being free and letting me uh, use this tool and observe what my uh, users are doing. So this is a great way to check your UX see how it's doing and uh, maybe you need to change some things. Obviously I need to change a few here. So uh, thanks a lot and I hope you enjoyed this post. Peace out.